guys and welcome back to another of my YouTube videos. If you haven't already, please go hit that subscribe button down below to check out the rest of my YouTube videos and content that I'll be posting weekly to help you get through your med school application process. So in this video, I thought it'd be a really good idea to share with you some of the websites and resources that I made use of all for free on my journey to med school. I've compiled a list so that it's easy for you to go away and look at after this video and they're all in the description down below so don't worry about getting a pen and paper, they're all there for you after you finish this video. So I found it quite hard to find information online that was suitable for what I was going through and was relevant and wasn't just me wasting time surfing the internet for nonsense. So by using some of these websites, which I was able to do all for free and with no subscription, I was able to find relevant and useful information for each stage of my journey to application with medicine in mind. I've created a list with reasons and ways you can make use of these. So hopefully you'll be able to go away and make the most out of what they have to offer. So a huge reason why I set up this YouTube channel to help you guys on your journey to medicine was really because at the start of the process for me, I couldn't find any information without having to pay a huge fee for it. I ended up not spending a penny on the process and I want to share with you guys some of the websites that I used. So here's a list of the best websites to go and get this free information from. So first up, the websites that I used. I spent hours endlessly searching the web to find some nuggets of information, literally anything that I could find, a tiny piece of advice on the verbal reasoning section of the UCAT or something to help me with a question for an MMI preparation. So these are my top and favourite websites to use. The Medic Portal, the UCAS website, the UCAT website, as well as Medic Mind and Geeky Medics. I also spent a lot of time on university websites. I made use of Medify, but only the free section, and again, 6Med, but just the free stuff that was on it. So how did I actually make use of these websites is a very good question. I spent a lot of time looking through these and did pick up a lot of good and valuable information from these. So I'm going to share with you some of the ways that I use these websites to get the best out of them. So my absolute favourite and go-to website for virtually all of the process for applying to medicine was the Medic Portal. I used this for so many different things, from comparing universities in their tables, which they have compiled lots of different data so that you can see what universities need the UCAT, BMAT, if they need certain grades or subject requirements, if they're campus or uh, say MMIs. There's so many different things that you can find from their comparison tools for on their websites. I also loved using this for helping me prepare for the UCAT. It had a lot of different resources that I could make use of, just simple tips and guidance, but it all really, really helped me just understand the process of the UCAT. One of my biggest tips would definitely be for this website to go and subscribe to their email. So a key thing that I did with the Medic Portals website was subscribe to their emailing list. This was a great way of getting lots of up-to-date information and to keep me on track and just let me know that I was doing things in the right order and that I wasn't going to be left behind or miss something out. They were great at sending topical sort of hints and tips and they helped with the MMI, give like hot topic questions and just a bit of advice in general. But just a small disclaimer, if you are using this website, do double check the university websites as well, because I did find a couple of things, especially in their comparison tool, wasn't quite up to date. And there'd be nothing worse than going via what they say solely and missing out on some valuable information about a university. So do check the university websites alongside the medic portal when deciding if it's the right thing for you. But overall, I would highly recommend using the Medic Portal for being free and a lot of access to a lot of different things. 
So I also made a lot of use out of the actual UCAT website. This was because they have a lot of free resources that you can make use of and give you some mock tests so that you can try the online style of the UCAT all for free. This was the only way that I actually ended up using the online things for the UCAT. A lot of my friends did pay a lot for subscriptions to different websites to use their online resources, but I didn't. And I actually must say it was a really good website because it is the real style of UCAT that you'll be sitting in your exam. There are a decent number of questions, but if you do want to have some more, I'm sure there are other places that you can go and spend a little bit of money to get these. So for me, I just used the UCAT website for the mock style of tests and to get me used to the environment and using the online tools. So definitely for me, I would recommend this if you're not wanting to spend much money and if you want to get a decent number of questions and do well in the UCAT. So more recently, I have found the Medic Mind to be quite helpful for different things. I used this whenever I was wanting some advice for my personal statement, and it also has a bit of info about the UCAT sections. So definitely check that out if you would like some help with those things. Medic Mind does have some paid sections, but I personally found their free resources very useful. So another website I found recently was Geeky Medics and I actually really love this website for being really colourful and the graphics are amazing as well. It's very informative and can give you a bit of a guide on like timelines and dates for things. It is slightly more aimed at med students rather than people applying to medicine but it is one to recommend if it's something you're interested in to find out some hot topics maybe for interview or just some general advice and a bit of insight into what medicine is like. For basically anything uni related, I went to UCAS. Their website is filled with lots of different info on so many different resources and places that you can find even more information about unis and the application process to those unis through UCAS as well. UCAS website is great for having dates and deadlines and give you a bit of a guidance on when the sort of next upcoming thing is for your course. So definitely check it out and even subscribe to their mailing list for more info. So once I began researching a bit for the application process to applying to medicine, I then started getting adverts on basically everything from Instagram, Facebook, Google, telling me about courses and subscriptions to different things that came with a cost for helping me get the best score for UCAT or to do well in my MMIs. These were from places like Medify or SixMed, and I actually didn't subscribe to any of them. However, I did use Medify and SixMed for their free material and resources from their online websites, and I found them quite useful, so I'm sure the free stuff could be useful for you too. So personally, I can't comment on any of the paid or fee sort of um, websites because I didn't use any of them. However, if it's something you're willing to do, I'm sure they have a lot more resources and stuff available for you to use. So I loved using the uni websites as well. As much as it can be quite hard to find some information specifically for what you're looking for, it can be really useful to find some info that maybe you weren't even aware of that the uni offers or what the uni doesn't offer. And it's really important to check these thoroughly because at the end of the day, you will be spending about five to six years in this location. So it's important to get your uni choices right. If you do need help on this, please go check out my YouTube video all about choosing the correct university for you. So some other resources that I would highly recommend making use of would be other videos like this. If you want to, you can go check out the rest of my YouTube channel for lots of hints and tips and guidance on how to do well in each step of the application process to medicine. YouTube videos were definitely something that I made use of for giving me a bit of um, advice on specific things that I was looking for from an actual person. 
However, I found it really hard to find students' opinions on things. So that's why I set up this YouTube channel because I wanna give you guys some real guidance from my experience and to hopefully share some things that you're finding relevant to your stage of applying to med school. Personally, I'm definitely a visual learner, so reading something really didn't do much for me, but seeing someone do something that I was struggling with was such a good resource for me to use. So finally, I would highly recommend getting in touch with some med students that you might know. Maybe some of your friends have just gone through the application process to uni or med school. And this is a really, really useful way to get very specific answers to your questions that you might have. Sometimes it can be really frustrating to try and search on Google lots of different things and not really get any valuable information. So if you are struggling, don't hesitate to get in touch. My Instagram is the content medic. And if you would like, you could leave a comment down below and I'd be sure to get back in touch with you. If you've got any more questions or queries, please get in touch and check out the rest of my YouTube channel for more information, hints and tips. I'll be posting up some more videos on the application process and what it is really like to study medicine. So keep in touch, hit that subscribe button and the bell to be notified. And if you did enjoy this video, please give it a like down below. Thanks for watching. I hope you found that useful and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.